So today I'm going to show you one of the Samsung tricks on a Samsung device and how to actually send this phone and then make a ecosystem and send to my MacBook. It's actually quite easy. And then since I have a MacBook and I'm going to show you some tricks on the MacBook, a simple tricks that I use every single day. And you might want to learn this if you have a MacBook. Please subscribe my channel and share this video and I'm going to get started. So I'm going to show you this little tricks. How do I send things to my MacBook? Right now I have four different devices on my Samsung device and then all my Samsung device I have an app called Local Send. I'm going to show it to you. This is Local Send right there. And when you type inside, this is the Local Send. And I use this to send information into this device. And the MacBook I have local send as well too. So if I go to applications, if I scroll down, you can see local send as well. You can download local send through the website and then you can download local send through the app store or even the play store if you have a Android. If you have an Apple, you just go to the app store and then you can download this app as well too. And now whoever sending something, you need to press send. Whoever receives, receiving something, just stay there. Do not go sent because you need to look at which name you are on. So this computer, this MacBook is actually patient grade. And then for me, it will show me patient grade as well too. So if I want to say sending something, whatever I want, and then press confirm, and then I just need to press patient grade, and then you can just take a look at that and it's already inside my MacBook. And now this is the ecosystem, okay? Ecosystem that I'm talking about on the MacBook with the Samsung device. And you can send text, you can send videos, you can send music, you can send pictures, whatever you want. And then it will be right there underneath the download folders, okay? I'm gonna zoom in, you can see it's a download folders right there. So now, since I have a MacBook, maybe I'll show you some tricks that I use um, every single day on this MacBook. First of all, we are just gonna go straight to the browser. If you want to scroll up and down, you just need to use two fingers, okay? Use two fingers, and then just scroll up and down. Down, up, down. Very fast, very simple. If you use three fingers, you can see what's happening behind the tab. See that, okay, you push up, you can see what's happening behind the tab. And then now let's just say if you are having, want to get a brand new tab on the top, you can see the top, you, can, you want to see a brand new tab, you just go for Command T, Command T. So there will be a brand new tab. And then Command N, same thing, it will create a brand new tab. You squeeze two finger, just like this, close in, let's say close in, you can see what is behind the tab as well too. You can see within your internet browser. But let's just say I'm just gonna go back in. Um, let's just say I want to go here. Let's just say I type NHL.com. Now if I squeeze, squeeze, you see my previous browser and my, and my previous tab and then the new tab NHL right here. So this is how to squeeze and then want to jump tap to tap. And then the final things I usually do, let's say you have five fingers, okay? Use five fingers and squeeze, okay? Squeeze. Now you can go back to your own windows, okay? Your app windows. And then squeeze again, push it back out, okay? Push it back out, it will go back to your previous app. Pretty cool. So this is the couple of tricks that I use and then how do I actually send pictures, videos, documents from my phone to the laptop, my MacBook. Please subscribe my channel and share this video and have a good day. Bye bye. Peace out.